Praise the Lord. Today we look at, the, at, at another name of God, very revered by the Hebrew people. It is Yahweh. Yahweh, the name of the Lord. Now, Yahweh is the Hebrew name of God, meaning I am. The self-existent one. I am. He was. He is. And he always has been and always will be. He is the self-existent one with no beginning and no end. He is, I am, in your situation. He is the self-existent God. He is right there. And where do we get this name? We get in the conversation between God when he appeared in that traumatic vision and encounter of God with, uh, I mean, of Moses with God. We first come across the name Yahweh in the famous, in the infamous conversation between Moses and God at the, bon the burning bush. The Bible says in chapter, four, chapter, 13, chapter 3, verse 14 and 15 of the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 3, verse 14 and 15. The Bible says like this. God replied, I am who I am. In the Hebrew Bible, it is I am Yahweh. I am Yahweh, the self-existent God. Say this to the people of Israel. I am has sent me. Yahweh has sent me. God also said to Moses, Say this to the people of Israel, Yahweh, which is I am, the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my eternal name, my name to remember for all generations. Now God tells Moses, God tell the children of Israel, that Elohim that they knew is also Yahweh their God, the self-existent God who is, and he wants to be known by this name, Yahweh. Let the children of Israel know me as Yahweh, Yehovah. Let them know me as Yahweh their God. When you pray, the name of God, Yahweh, you are praying to the one true God that has always existed and will have no end. So the name of God, Yahweh, is that self-existent God. He is there with you. I am. He is right where you are in your situation. You remember that? old story that is told that um, there was this man who was, who's, you know, that he was always seeing the two footprints. He was alone, but he was, and he could always see the footprints of two people. And uh, he knew that one was for God and another one for him. But at a certain point, he could only see one footprint. And so he asked God, where were you? Because I only saw one footprint of one person. And the Lord said, that moment when you just saw one footprint, it is the moment when I carried you on my shoulders because I know you were so wary and I carried you. And so you didn't see the other footprint. And did you know that, my friends, anytime you really feel you are lonely, that is the time when God, Yehovah, Yahweh is with you. And most likely he's holding you up. <laughs> he's holding you up. And that's why it's, it says in, in uh, Psalm 23 that even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Yahweh is with you in the most difficult situation where your mommy, your husband, your wife, the, your bodyguard, or your doctor cannot be with you. Yahweh is with you. 
So if you are this morning thinking that God has left you and that you are alone, this is the closest you are with God. Uh, surprisingly, this is the closest you are with God. And this is a time when he's holding you up. Now, look here. You are saying that things are so hard, but you are still alive. You're saying things are so hard for the past one month, but he has sustained you. You have not been consumed. Wouldn't, wouldn't you just lift up your hands this hour and just worship Yahweh? We just worship Yahweh. He's a great and, you know, the, the, the great I am. He is here with you. He is here with you in this situation. He has not left you in that prison. He is there with you. He is the great I am. Praise be to God. He is great I am in your situation. Father, I just want to thank you and bless you for who you are. You are such a great and awesome God. Yahweh, the great I am. The self-existent God. I call on you, Yahweh. Come through for this dear one. You spoke to Moses in the lonely desert where he thought he was alone, tending those sheep. And you told him, I am. The children of Israel who are in Egypt in bondage, but you appear to them as I am, Yahweh, Yahweh, the great I am. And you say, this is a name by which I want to be known for all generations. I am. I am always there with you. I am a self-existent God. Father, may this revelation come upon this dear one. That things, has, he has been abandoned. Things like the God of his forefathers no longer takes care of him. Father, may you come through for this brother. May you come through for this sister. May you come through for this son and daughter. May you come through for this mother. Let them realize that Yahweh, the great I am, is in their situation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Continue enjoying this spiritual nourishment. Click on subscribe button below. Click on the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another video. Thank you and see you in our next broadcast.